Hi guys, in this lecture we are gonna learn the display property that is the CSS property and now let's start. Uh, but before this here I want to tell you something that what is the display property? The display property is used to change the display. I have already tell you the block level elements and the inline elements. So what is the block level elements that are shown as a block, as a container and it have the new line before and after it and it cover the full space on the screen and we can change the display of these elements. We can show the block level elements as the inline elements and the inline elements as the block level elements by using the display property. But before this I want to tell you something that is block level elements and the inline elements properties or you can say that the identifications of the block level elements and the inline elements. So now here I have already created this page its name is display.html this time it is different and here is the body and here is the HTML element head style and here is its render page and now here I'm gonna copy a paragraph from the Wikipedia here is this paragraph little paragraph and here in the body I have pasted it and now first of all I'm gonna show you what is the block level element exact in the HTML section I have teach you the block level elements and the inline, inline elements without the CSS but now I'm gonna teach you with the CSS so your concept is going to be clear more so here I'm gonna enclose this line in the paragraph in the this line is now a paragraph we have enclosed it inside the paragraph so now let's render it and here you see that this line have the new line before and after it so it means it is a block level element the paragraph is a block level element here when we remove these paragraph tags so now it is just a simple paragraph and when we apply these tags so now this line have the complete new line before and after it so this is the block level element and the second uh, identification of the block level element here I'm gonna apply the border on this paragraph here is border one pixel solid here is red and here it is so here you see that we have applied this border on a paragraph but it will be applied on the complete line or you can see that you can say that the block level elements is display as a box it is display as a container uh, it will cover the full space in front of it it will cover the hundred percent width and we can also give the height and width to the block level elements here I'm gonna give it the width here is 20 pixel and now the border is reduced so now there are three identifications of the block level element it have the new lines before and after it it will cover the complete space and it have we can give it the width and height and now here I'm going to tell you about its display property here is the display property by using this display property we can change the display of the paragraph here you can see that this is as a block so this is the default value for this paragraph the paragraph have the display block value but we can give it other values that is the inline values but before this I'm gonna show you what is the inline here is I'm gonna enclose this text now in the span the span is an inline element here is span and here is span span and here I'm gonna remove it this value is for the paragraph here I want to tell you another thing that paragraph heading and the div or the block level elements and the span anchor tag image is a inline elements and here it is 
so now here you see that the text that is inside the span is display as a simple text inside the border it have not the full space it have not the new line and we cannot able to give the width to the span here i'm going to give it the 200 pixel but it is not going to be apply on it so now you can see that this is the identifications of an inline element it have not new line will not cover all the space on the screen we cannot give it the width and height and now this is okay and now we are going to change the display here this span have the display value inline because it is inline element but we are going to change it I'm go going to make this span as a block level element so how to do this here is we have to change its value here we have to give it block so now this span is become the block level element here you see that it is shown on the second line and it will cover all the space on the screen and it is on the new line and now we are also able to give it the width here is the width is 200 pixel here it is so now this is called the display property this is the method to change the display of any element and now you can apply all the block level element properties on this span the block level elements have the property we can give it the width we can you have the new lines before and after it but here the new lines are not present before and after this block this span and then there is another property for is it will cover all the space on the screen because we have given it the width so that's why it is not covering all the space but it is it can cover so now this is the method to make an inline element into a block level element and here I'm gonna make it again an inline element here it is so now it is simple and now here I'm gonna make this span a paragraph and then this is a block level element and now I'm gonna change it into the inline element here is display and here is and here I'm gonna render it so now it is a block level element and here I'm gonna give it in line and then it have no new line before and after it and uh, you it will not cover full space and you cannot give it the width and height here is the width I'm gonna give it the width but it is not going to be apply because now it is an inline element but it when we apply the default property on it block so all the properties are going to be work because it will become the block level elements so this is the way to make a block level element into an inline element and then a inline element into a block level elements then they will interchange their properties completely and now here i'm going to tell you about the third one value of this display that is inline block and what is the inline block we can give the inline block value to any element to a block level element and we can also give this value to an inline element and here is first of all i'm going to give this value to the block level element so now this block level element also have the properties of the inline here it is so now its properties are following uh, it have no new line before and after it it have no uh, it will not cover the full space on the screen but it have one property that is belong to the block level element that is the we can give it the width and height and it will be applied here is no new line no full covering space and here we can give it the width and height this property is from the block level elements and the other properties are from the inline element and here it is 
and now you can also apply this inline block property on the span when we apply this inline block value on the span so it have the same properties it will not have the new line before and after it it will not cover the full space and you can give it the width and height so this is the way to make uh, to change the display properties and to change the display and here i want to tell you another thing that anchor tag anchor tag is also in line element and we cannot give it the width and height whenever we want to give it the width and height we have to apply the inline block or we have to apply the block value on it so if you have any problems so kindly at the discussion i will help you as much as i can so thank you for watching this video i will see you in the next video